Hello everybody, welcome back. This is part two of my Church Street video. As we know, Church Street starts on the junction of Whitegate Drive, Devonshire Road, Devonshire Square area, and we've walked up the first bit, and our last part finished here, looking at the Salvation Army building on Rakes Parade. So we're going to turn up the quick land down road in the street there, and we're going to turn up here and just walk down the last bit going to have to be a little bit careful on this road. I was doing a little vlog here a couple of years ago and I was just to my eternal shame I wasn't like paying attention and on that side I just bimbled out into the road like an idiot and I heard this car go beep and this guy waved his hand at me and he was like get out the bloody road he was a taxi driver and I honestly just felt awful because I was just like, oh my gosh, what an idiot. <laughs> so I'm always now being extra careful that I'm not just walking out into the road without looking. I usually am really careful. That, that, that one day I just had a lapse in concentration and judgment and everything. But well, let's just get across here really quick. I always dread lights changing when I'm halfway across the road. It always seems to happen to me. Got these little houses here. I'm sure here used to be a little shop that used to sell like alpine and skiing equipment. I really think it did. We've got the tea and vintage tea room there. It is on the corner of the Regent Cinema building. They show like old movies now and again from like the 70s, 80s, 90s and just movies that have been released a few years ago and apparently on Facebook you can vote sometimes for which one they're going to show. I'm just going to get across this road quickly and then I'll turn back. This is Regent Road I've just crossed, that's Regent Road down there. Down that side is Huxley Street there. But if we look up here, that is the Regent, the antique centre, auction house and cinema. And if I hold the camera pointing right upwards like that, we can see the wonderful top of that building. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now we've got this little terrace of buildings here. Got many shops down here. It goes down Cookson Street, but it also goes down Church Street. Down the Cookson Street bit, there used to be a video shop down there many years ago. I mentioned it before when I've been in this neck of the woods. I think it was Alan Haywoods, but I am honestly not sure. I think I got it wrong last time, if I remember correctly, and somebody texted me in the comments, but. That building's having a full-on makeover. Look, the scaffolding's everywhere. So that's going to have a full-on makeover, be the door cleaned and spruced up. And they're probably going to like sort it out in a way like they did the old Woolworths building. So it'll be done sympathetically to its original aesthetic. That's St John's School there. It's a whole new building because the original building was super duper old. I did like the old building, but I guess it is. It's people evolve and education evolves and schools evolve and more and more kids get into schools. The older buildings, they kind of end up dated for the purpose of what they're supposed to be used for. I do understand why people want to just rebuild these buildings and make something more adaptive and more modern and well just better all around. I remember a few years ago, a couple of years before they closed it actually, where I've got the camera looking now, not just here at this gate but here right up against this wall of the Stanley Arms, it's called the brew room now but it used to be called the blue room. That bit there where I've got the camera pointed that was more or less the old entrance going in. And I remember 
kids coming back after a half term holiday a ton of bricks from the blue room building had just fallen down into the entrance and just collapsed and fallen everybody was like whoa it's flipping lucky that didn't happen you know while the kids were in school it's lucky it happened at half term That is the round corner of that building. That is called King's Terrace because you've got our street there, Church Street there, that's the street we're doing today, Corn Street there, King Street going down there, you've got South King Street going down there, but we're obviously going down the rest of Church Street. That's where the old ABC stood, formerly Syndicate Nightclub, before that it was the ABC Picture House, before that it was the old Hippodrome, and originally, obviously, years and years before I was born, it was the old Empire. But I did film that while it was being demolished, and that was one of the first demolitions I actually filmed. The first one I filmed, I think was Bethesda Terrace, and that was the little terrace of shops down just near Bethesda Square on Central Drive, Bethesda Square. But I did recently redo that video in one of my previously in Blackpool series videos, so a lot of you new subscribers would be able to see that video. But, and who? Let's keep going down here. That is Topping Street down there. I do have Topping Street already on the streets of Blackpool Series. Got furniture and lounge there. That used to be Ethel Austin's, that's where you would come to go. Mm, excuse me, got a bit of a hiccup then. That's where you would go to get all your cheap baby clothes and stuff like that. But they actually sold everything there. Back 30 odd years ago when my daughter was little, they sold prams and play pens and they sold everything, it was great. Towards the end, wasn't quite as good. But we're just almost here now on St John's Square and Cedar Square. Got Cedar Square down there. I did film this bit recently in the Streets of Blackpool series because I did all the little streets down there and I did see the square and Edward Street and a bit of Deansgate. Look at all the picnic tables on St John's Square. They're great and you can see St John's Church there. You can always get a good picture of that no matter which way you put your camera angle. It's a very photogenic building isn't it? Look at that. And all the picnic tables up and of course in three weeks, beginning of August, when we've got the Rebellion Festival on, this place is going to be packed with all the wonderful colourful punks that grace our town every year and everybody looks forward to Rebellion and looks forward to seeing all the punks because they're all such cool good natured people. Oh look, the fountain's working. And we've got the Winter Gardens building here. I have got loads of videos of almost every nook and cranny inside the Winter Gardens building because they do have open days where you can come down and you just stick a fiver in the donation box and you can literally just walk round on your own and just walk everywhere. There's a very, very few places that are closed off but mainly everything's open. That's Abingdon Street down there. This is definitely the more interesting side, isn't it? We've got a subway there attached to Winter Gardens. Little eating fish and chip restaurant. We've got the Vintro Lounge there. It's been a few different eateries, but years ago it used to be a Next clothing shop. And I think before it was Next, it was Dorothy Perkins. But I'm very probably wrong there. Toyland there. I can't remember what that used to be. 
but the building here, this used to be Little Woods. And it was great going into Little Woods because the breakfasts were brilliant. You could get like either a five item breakfast or a six or seven or eight item breakfast. And you just basically pick what you want out of the trays. And it was just so nice to be able to go and grab a nice cooked breakfast. It's Coronation Street down there. Filmed that a lot in the last year because I filmed the entirety of the new Backlot Theatre being built. I don't remember exactly what most of the shops on this bit were but I'm just going to go out on a limb and say they're all shoe shops because down here like most of the shops that you would walk past were shoe shops this is the old nail place next to the Heart Foundation that burned down we've got that cool sign there that says it's something arms hotel and library stables what's that say clifton does it say clifton i think it says clifton clifton arms hotel and library stables livery stables however you pronounce that you can see in there all the inside bits of that old property it's really not that big is it if you think about it but it's all cleaned up now the fence is not up there but I'm guessing I'm still not supposed to walk in but I don't really need to walk in there to be honest I can show you guys everything you need to see from here I'm just going to get to the end now here we've got the Grand Theatre coming up now on the corner beautiful beautiful building the grand theater it's beautiful outside and inside i went there a year or so ago just over a year ago because my daughter got tickets for a show and then she had to work and she couldn't go so i she gave me the tickets she emailed motor i just got nearly face planted by a pigeon then yeah she sent me the tickets to the show so i got to go in the grand theater Look at that, that's a great view. Wonderful inside there. Right opposite there we've got Nando's. That used to be Clark's Shoes. We've got B&M's there. That used to be British Home Stores. So see, I do remember a few of these bigger shops. That little street here that I'm walking past, this is Temple Street. That little, that is the Three Graces. I think that's actually a plaster mould of the original because the original got smushed up some years ago. So that's a plaster mould of the original. It's not the original. But when I was a kid down there, you could walk straight through there. And at some point, probably around 40 years ago, maybe longer, I don't know, they blocked it off and built buildings down there and I was so salty about that because I always use that little thoroughfare so much and even though it doesn't make any difference because you can just walk down here so it doesn't really make any difference I was so darn salty about them blocking that off and even like 40 odd years later I still look at it and just think damn it I wish I could still walk down there you know I remember when you could we're getting to the end now guys so I am just going to say, in fact, the end of Church Street, I think, was there where, I think the end of Church Street was there where the road was, where Costa was and Nando's was. I always get a little bit discombobulated about exactly where these streets finish. So I think Church Street actually finished there where the Grand was. So I am going to end this video here. We're going to end it looking at that seagull on top of the Grand Theatre. So again, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, just hit the like button before you go. And I will see you soon in the next one. Goodbye. There we go, seagulls.